Welcome to my lecture online. Now that we have a pretty good handle of how we deal with radical expressions, let's see if we can apply it to something like this. Here we have a right triangle. Presumably this angle here is a right angle, 90 degree angle. And we're trying to find the length of the hypotenuse given the length of the two sides. This is 3 eighths and this is 1 half. Of course, we have to remember that the Pythagorean theorem says that we have a right triangle. If this is a, a right angle right there, that means that the hypotenuse squared equals the sum of the square of the two legs. So if we solve for the hypotenuse, we say that c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So using that same principle, we're going to try to solve this. We can then say that c is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the two, two sides, which would be 3 eighths quantity squared plus 1 half quantity squared. So what we need to do now is simplify what we have inside the radical. So that we say that c is equal to the square root of 9 over 64 plus 1 over 4. Of course, we need to add those two fractions together, which means we have to write them over a common denominator of 64. So we can write that c is equal to the square root of 9 over 64 plus 16 over 64. How did I figure that out? Well, I simply multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 16, because 4 times 16 is 64, so I can get the same common denominator. So next, I go ahead and add the two fractions, and now they have the same denominator, so c is equal to the square root of 9 over 64 plus 16 over 64, which is 25 over 64. And of course, using the rules, I can say that c is equal to the square root of 25 divided by the square root of 64. And we know what those are. We can then say that c is equal to 5 over 8, which is the length of the hypotenuse. And that is how it's done.